The penal cross comes from 1763, so well over 250 years ago, and it was used as a teaching tool to teach people the story of the passion and resurrection of Jesus, that, and to teach it in a way that we understand it's our story, and it's through that story that we're saved. Um, it would have been used by a, a priest probably out in the field to say mass with the people, because of course it was a time of persecution. There was uh, churches have been dissolved. It's a very visual thing because it's almost made, it's a bit like the, the, the high crosses you'll find out outside old Irish monastic ruins from, from oh, well over a thousand years ago. At the bottom of the penal cross you see a cockerel and a pot and there's an old Irish folklore story that Judas, distraught having betrayed Jesus and realising what he'd done, went home to his wife and he said, I've betrayed Jesus and now he's going to rise again in three days like he said he would. And uh, his, his wife said, oh, he, he's about as, Jesus is about as likely to rise from the dead as his cockerel is that I'm cooking in this pot. And at that, the cockerel is reputed to have jumped out of the pot and crowed Mach na Hoigeslan in Irish, which means the son of the Virgin is safe, the son of the Virgin is risen. But in particular, the Pope Francis will be wearing green vestments, green for Sundays of ordinary time, because for us, the love of God is something evergreen. It has no dimmer switch. It's, it's, it's something that's constant. The new cross, um, the processional cross, is, is basically it's styled on a penal cross. So even more clearly, perhaps in a way that perhaps little ones can understand, the, the, the story of the passion uh, of Jesus is, is very clear. So again, you can see the spear, you can see the ladder, you can see the, the nails, uh, you can see the, the, the body of Christ crucified but unrisen as well too.